hi guys in this short video we are going to learn some terminology and new information about the coronavirus which has been revealed by scientific studies what is rolling average infection why some covid patients die what is emergency use authorization related to covid and relation between bcg vaccine and coronavirus Rolling average infection is calculated to calculate the rate of infection of coronavirus over a period of time. This is usually calculated for every two weeks. The, the rate the compar comparison between the rates between the past two weeks and the week involved in the current week is used for calculating increase or decrease of coronavirus infection over the past two weeks. Why some COVID patients die? Scientific studies have shown that COVID-19 patients with life-threatening illness have antibodies that disable key immune system proteins called interferons. Approximately 3 to 5 percent of the patients have interferon mutations and this family consists of 500 to 600 genes. These autoantibodies are present in COVID-19 patients before the infection, but they are getting activated after the infection. What is emergency use authorization? This is a special power given to the Food and Drug Administration. This, is you, this provision has been used for approval for LLE's experimental antibody treatment for COVID-19. This Emergency use authorization allows FDA to allow unapproved medical products or unapproved uses of approved medical products to be used in an emergency to diagnose, treat or prevent serious or life-threatening diseases or conditions. What is the relation between tuberculosis vaccination and COVID-19? Scientists have proved that it appears that BCG vaccinated individuals either may have been less sick and therefore produced fewer anti-COVID-19 antibodies or they might have mounted a more efficient cellular immune response against COVID-19 virus. Thank you for watching the video and uh, subscribe to the channel for more videos later. Thank you.